Good morning, YouTube. It's kind of overcast. Sun's on up. Me and the kids just went and ate a Waffle House. On the way over here, we're fixing to load up all this hay and haul it home. William's gonna unhook the rake so we don't have to drag that around while we're loading hay. So. William got a haircut. Turn around, turn your head around, look at that. All right, that's good. There you go. Ah, uh, you gotta let me do that. Oh, you just got grease all over me. Marty dirty. Welcome to Strickland Farms. helpers today. Is he gonna come around that? Alright, come here, Kathy. Uh 16's on the trailer. Four left. I got William getting bailed for me while me and Catherine strapped down the back two bales. So they're not going nowhere. What about the tiny bell? The tiny bell will go on top somewhere. 
We'll probably put it right there. No, it ain't gonna fit in the back of my truck. Good job, William. All right, I'm not gonna let William load the trailer. But he did good getting the bales to me while I did the trapping. Good job. My turn. <laughs> And move the seat back for me. All right, I'm gonna set this first bell up here. We gotta start. You can get start getting the straps ready, okay? Is that about center? William just took the 5075 back to the rake. I don't know what he's doing. He's probably trying to put it in park, which he don't have to. Oh, I'm not even filming him. Okay. Me and Catherine got all the bells strapped down. So we got 20 bells on the trailer. Well, 19 and a half, Catherine said, because that little one. But 16 on the bottom and four on the top. 
and the flashers are on. William has turned the flashers on. Let's drive over there and help him. I'll make it too tight. We won't be able to get it off. <laughs> Here we go. in our journey today. I'm cutting hay. Cutting some tall hay. Got a little Johnson grass in it. Ain't bad. Gals eat Johnson grass. So the majority of the field's really nice but hay grass. There's a little bit of Johnson grass up here. I guess it's Johnson grass. But it's up here next to the wood line where he had a bulldozer come in here a few years ago and clean up, make the field bigger. And that's just volunteer. But the rest of the field and all that up there is really nice bahia grass. Uh, it's not very tall, the bahia grass isn't, but it's decent. Uh, should make a pretty good bit of bales. We shall see. But just opening up the field, doing my outside rounds. I'm trying to get it ready where I can start going back and forth. Actually, I think I'm fixing to do this terrace right here. It's a steep one. So we're gonna go around this terrace. It's about eight or nine acres. I think eight acres. Uh, shouldn't take too long. A couple hours, I'll be done. A lot of steep terraces in that part, so I'll have to cut the terraces like I do, like I'm doing this. But it'll be okay. <laughs> hey, guys, tall on this end. Nut grass, uh, crab grass. There's some crab grass up there. All righty. Talk to y'all later. D U N done. <laughs> Finished. Every bit of it cut. Let's see. It is 2:15, so it took me about two hours. So now, I'm gonna unhook the cutter, hook it back to my truck, and head towards level plains. One of the best things about this R model tractor, which I know other tractors have it, but it's this right here. Pushing those hydraulics out. You don't have to turn the tractor off to take your hydraulics out like you do those E models and M models. Well, I gotta do that one with two hands. All right, Baylor's hooked up. Everything's ready to go. So. We'll give it a couple days, let this hay dry. Just leave the tractor sitting here. We'll bring the rake tractor and the rake in a few days and bail it up. So, very pleased at how well it cut. Didn't take long. 
good thing. That's probably gonna wrap me up for the day. Buzzard found something I run over down there. Probably a rat. I seen several of them out here. But that's gonna wrap it up for today for me. I may not get into nothing this afternoon or I may work on a peanut picker. We shall see.